Alright, good day, hey, good day, how are you, welcome, yes, I'm in my jammy, so I just got off work, oh, been a long day, and all I gotta say about that is... <laughs> Setup. I've tried this and this and this and that, but I've never added those two. And I like it. <laughs> just so I behave myself a bit. Um, but when you get a good, like, a good cabinet like that, and it kind of tells all the tales for you that you need to know, such as when you're playing sloppy, I blame my pick. And my pick hand. Yeah. Uh, yeah, so my bad playing notwithstanding. Uh, clear speakers really tell you everything, uh, but it also gives such dynamic to your guitar. Um, uh, what do you call it? Uh, Glenn from Spectre Studios. I never met the guy or never talked to him, but I watched some of his videos and he was, he was always saying like, you know, your tone comes from your speakers. And there's a lot of truth to that. I mean, tone comes from everything. It comes from starting with your fingertips. Uh, then it's the fingerboard, then it's the neck, and then it's the tone woods, then it's the pickups, then it's the scale length, and then, you know, the bridge type, and it goes and goes and goes. And everything plays in, I, everything plays in maybe about that much, but at the end of it, it makes a huge difference, huge difference. So between this guitar and, say, like another SG, there's not that much of a difference, but between this guitar and, say, like a Stratocaster, 
you know, apples to eggs, right? So like, there's no comparison to uh, two different animals. Um, but yeah, speakers will enhance your sound like you can't imagine. I bought this cabinet back in 1991, on November 11th, 1991. It was Remembrance Day. And I was a teenager, how old I was in 1991. And when I bought it, uh, I was a fan of Mesa Boogie to begin with, but I'd never really heard one. You know, like I'd never really heard one until that point. I've heard lots of Marshalls. I even played through a couple of Marshall stacks by this point. I played through a Randall stack and a Trainer stack and uh, a Saldano stack at this point. And then this thing showed up in my life. And I saw it and I thought it was badass looking and it is. It's probably one of the most badass, meanest looking cabinets I've ever seen. Uh, you know, the barbecue grill there and stuff like that. This thing just, just, just has reaps of attitude. And it was actually kind of compact in comparison to the Marshall. The Marshall's probably about that much bigger than it. Because there's like almost no gap between the speakers where on the Marshall there you got like an inch or two gap between each speaker. Uh, and this thing had really good speakers. Uh, it has four, had, has a uh, 490 watt Celestian Black Shadows in there. And the gray cabinet uh, at the time uh, was the upper end one with the 150 watt EV speakers in there. And uh, the clarity out of these things is so good. But the punchiness, the low end, the headroom, the drive, uh, like, you know, like a lot of guys like the vintage 30s. I really don't like the vintage 30s that much. I mean, at lower volumes are fine because they do break up. But like when you really get up there and you have to push the push the wind, so to speak, uh, these bigger speakers just give you so much headroom. So it just allows you to get that much more. But you're clearer when you're doing it. So I like the tightness of that. Uh, and that's one thing this cabinet is, is very tight sounding. So even a 15 watt little amp like this and a cheap $100 pedal, $100 amp sounds great through this. And then you add on the, the two spicinesses of the uh, of the uh, monitors, you get the, the hi-fi from that sound, you know what I mean? And this just gives you the drive and the grunt and the, you know, the, the anger and the aggression. So I've played this cab for years. And when you get a good cab, like I paid 1500 bucks back in the day for this cab. And sometimes you can find these things used, depending, if it's on reverb, it'll be $9,000. But uh, before the people... You know, like if you can find one before people realize that they can, you know, sell it as vintage, uh, try to get one because this is a great cabinet. It's a phenomenal cabinet. Uh, I've yet to hear a Marshall that matches it. Even the new Marshalls don't match it. Like it's just, anybody I've ever played in front of has always said the same thing about this cabinet. That it was just like, wow. That, like they just stand in front of it while I was on stage. Like it wasn't, it wasn't uncommon for me back in the 90s when I was playing live. You know, uh, not that I was a big rock star or anything like that, but when I'd be playing live, I'd be standing in front of the amp on stage, and sometimes the other guitar would come kick me in the ass, guitar player kick me in the ass, pay attention to the audience, I'd be like, that sounds so good, you know? And we'd be sitting there, just like, the sound that it came out of this thing, right? And it still does. Uh, that's the cool part. And you mount, you mount that up with uh, a really good guitar, um, you can get a pretty stellar sound out of that. And I would gig with just this, this, and those two monitors and this pedal. That, that'd be enough for me. Um, you know, volume-wise, obviously I can't push this too, too hard. But the, the chunkiness, I know that side of the camera might not get the same effect I'm getting. But I'm really liking the sound I'm hearing out of this. And, uh, uh, you know, obviously with this combination, this is, again, my favorite guitar in forever. Like, a uh, since 1994 when they started reissuing issuing these i bought this in the this is a 2007 model bought it in 2009 but it's like anything you play through this my 400 hundred dollar flying v which the camera is sitting on right now it sounds pretty good through this this sounds better obviously and uh, my eight string sounds wicked through this thing it's three different voicings of guitars uh so i i still don't get why some uh some people are like uh you know uh, tone woods don't matter this don't matter but pickups make all the difference and the nut makes the difference and the bridge makes the difference well it all makes a difference um you will get different sounds for different things but with a good cabinet you can make a, a cheap guitar sound good uh with a great guitar you can make a great guitar sound phenomenal through that and it's just like the it makes you need not want. So I love my Hot Rod Deluxe. And my Hot Rod Deluxe going through this, I'll have to demonstrate that at some point. 
and with those two monitors. I bet you that would sound pretty killer too. Uh, the thing about that thing, that is a savage beast, little savage beast right there. But it's a vintage savage sound, right? Like, so it, you can get classic metal, classic hard rock sounds, rock sounds, and obviously good, great clean tones out of that. And coming through this thing, it's just rolling thunder. It's just so good. Uh, so speakers are a big part of your sound for sure. And it often gets overlooked. So a guy will go buy a $3,000 guitar. There's not a $3,000 guitar. Uh, and then play through something like this and never be happy. But again, just taking this to this makes a difference. Now, when, you, when I used to have my uh, Randall head, this would have sounded phenomenal through the Randall head, but I sold it years ago because it was, it was, I pretty much wore it out, right? Like most of my equipment, I, I play it till it's no longer playable. Um, yeah, so when I got this guitar, this is a pretty professional guitar. It's a phenomenal guitar, it really is. Uh, whether you like SGs or don't like SGs, and I know there's a, there's a Gibson haters out there or whatever, but at the time, this was a new, they were $1,900. I got this one for $1,650 second hand. Uh, at that price, you just really can't be, you know, like that, this guitar is definitely not, was not overpriced. Now, same guitar, 2,500 bucks. It's like a Canadian. Uh, that's a bit steep, but then again, I've been playing this guitar for 13 years. You, you know what I mean? Like, and I'll probably have it till the day. I'll be buried with this thing and this thing, <laughs> you know? Just send me this rig and whatever. Now, at some point, I'm going to put a better head on here, and, and uh, we'll really get to hear what this thing can do. Uh, this thing at stage volume has just been ridiculous. 